Before we proceed, I'd like to mention something that is very important. If you visit the documentation and read on Laravel Sanctum, you'll see that when creating SPS with Laravel, the SPS might exist in the same repository as your Laravel application, like in our case, or might be an, an entirely separate repository. Please note, if it's an entirely separate repository, the configuration is slightly different. For example, when logging in a user, you first need to make a request to this endpoint, Sanctum CSRF cookie, and then inside here, you can make a request to your API login route, and that is to protect your application from CSRF attacks. But in our case, we did not do that, and that is because we are loading the root component from a route that is inside the web.php file and all routes inside that file are protected with CSRF by default. This is the takeaway. If you have an SPA that is entirely separate from your Laravel application, make sure to check out the documentation and as long as you understand how Laravel Sanctum works, which is something that we've covered, it should be easy to implement it. With that said, let's switch back to our application. So this is our application and check this out. If I log in, I'm logged in, but I can still see login and register. That is very bad user experience. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'll go to the editor, go to login view. And here after logging in, if, if a login is successful, we need a way to track if someone is logged in or not. Then use that information to display the links dynamically. And I'm going to use local storage for that. So here I'll say local storage dot set item. Then I'll use a key of authenticated. Set the value to true. I'm using string because local storage doesn't support booleans. Then after that, I need to inform the root component because that's where we have our sidebar. I need to inform it that someone has been logged in, then use that information to display the links that we want. So here I can emit an event. Emit, and I'll call it update sidebar. Okay, let's go ahead and listen for that event here at updates sidebar notice that here i'm using kebab case not camel case as, as before and this is because the documentation recommends that we use kebab case so from now henceforth we'll be using kebab case so after listening for that we will call an, a method by the name update sidebar let's go ahead and call that method update sidebar. I'm going to create a data property here and we will see what it does in a minute. Logged in to false. Okay, so by default, someone is not logged in. It's false. And when you log in, if it is successful, we emit that method, that event, then we listen for it. And now since you're logged in, for this method to be called, it means you're logged in. Let's change the status to true. This dot logged in equals to opposite of it, this dot logged in. So that will change it if it's true to false, if it's false to true. Now let's go ahead and use this information to render the links that we want to be shown to the user. I'll come to the last one. We want this to be shown the dashboard if someone is logged in. So I can simply say v if what's happening today? v if logged in is true. Then copy this and then only show login if login is false is false. The same for register, if login is false. Save that, let's see if that's working. So here we can see, we don't see the dashboard because login 
is false. So let's log in and see. Good, we are logged in and now we don't see the login and register. But check this out. If I refresh the page, oh my god, we are back to square one. We still see register and login. Let's fix that. So what I'll do, of course we know if we check the local storage, it's been set to authenticated is true. So we can use that information to fix that problem. So let's come here the app.view scroll down and here let's say when the component is mounted so when you refresh it gets mounted so when it's mounted let's check the local storage so if local storage dot get item and the key we used is authenticated if that is true let's do something so if that is true, we will take this dot logged in and set it to true. And if that is not true, we'll take login and set it to false. Okay, let's see if that fixes the problem. Come back, refresh. We are good. Refresh again. We are good. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, let's see how to hide the dashboard from guests. Cheers.